one zero rolling so now guys i have the pleasure to be with sebastian van der Lans from work proof hello thank you to be here with us for the eos ios workshop number four thank you for inviting me it's really a pleasure to be here together with my uh, new plant a monstera like the one yeah. uh, in the back by you yeah wow it's beautiful <laughs> looks nice looks nice okay so sebastian uh, we had um, a, um last one august 23rd with you and for the community for the audience if you have missed the interview from uh, sebastian on august 23rd go back to this video because we scratch the surface of work proof we have um, touch also subject about timestamping, different subject on work proof, the SEO. So we have made the, the, uh, uh, a tour. Sebastian has a nice update to tell, to tell us. So begin with that, what, what are your, maybe some little updates before that we enter in the new question that I have for you. the last time we talked was right after we won the prize from the european commission the one million and the collaboration with the policymakers in europe um shall i quickly set the stage what the, the space we're working on and the actually the space chris is working on uh and then we dive into questions so what is the story what's our point of view on the world even though the internet has brought us many good things it has a deep rooted issue and it's trust and that's quite obvious, as trust wasn't part of the internet's design. The internet was built to connect computers with computers. And computers, they have no dreams, they do not care about power or self-enrichment, as they have no egos. Humans do, and therefore we now suffer fraud, manipulation and theft on a daily basis on the internet, which echoes back to the real world. So, what we say is to save the world, we need to fix the internet we need more truth on the internet and therefore trust must be part of the internet's dna and trust arises from transparency and accountability and simply say any information that impacts my life you, you deserve transparency and a sender who takes accountability and timestamping does exactly that um, it's a simple open source, we all know, a uh, solution to make transparency and accountability a default on the internet instead yeah. of an afterthought. That's the idea. So wow. together, through timestamps, we will change the DNA of the internet for the better so that it will become a safe and trustworthy place for all. Uh, and, and in fact, as a result, society will be better. So where Chris is working on making society better directly, we at Warproof say, if we fix the internet, society will be better for all as well. And we do that for ourselves, my parents, and for all future generations. Through yeah. timestamping, the internet becomes the trusted web. So let's build a trusted web together. That's the introduction. I was with Chris uh, before this uh, interview and uh, it's clear uh, there are links with the AI, there are links with not only AI, but uh, there are links with a lot of domain, a lot of sectors. Uh, but in the AI, uh, we see uh, directly the link because we think about the AI is only machine, 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 but they are also human involved in the process. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, nice. So you were also uh, this last time that we, we met uh, after August 23rd, you have met other institutions, other, um, you have made a lot of interviews, I think also uh, on the subject of the trusted web i think yeah so we work with policy makers we work with uh, governments both local governments as yeah. uh, as a whole europe and there are other countries which directly the governments reached out to us to work with us to timestamp uh, governmental uh, information we work with multiple search engines we're yeah. uh, discussing with them and with the biggest publishers so soon before the end of the year we will do 
um, one of the biggest Dutch publishers with one million articles that will be live before the end of the year. And what we will do before the end of the year is launching a Shopify integration. Because yeah, WordPress... we, we spoke about that the last time. Yeah. The CMS, the content management system, you support WordPress, you support uh, Joomla, uh, du du Dupral, also you can support. And, and now you say Shopify because yeah, so during, the, during the COVID, the Jopi Shopify has a uh, exactly. whole... So the, the second one, we now have WordPress and the API available. All the others we're building on, but Shopify will be live before the end of the year. Fantastic. An announcement. Uh, one, an announcement. One, one more announcement. We, haven't, we have only fantastic news. We have Google Cloud. We, we have uh, uh, mBlue with the mBlue Crypto, with the, 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 the AirDrop NFTs. The Google Cloud thing, yeah. it's not just Google joining EOS. It's yeah. so much more than that. Because what is going to happen for our mission, it's important that search engines will read the information from the blockchain. With Google involved on the EOS mainnet, it's so much easier for them easier. To, in, yeah. in, to interpret the data we timestamp on the blockchain. Fantastic. So it's one step closer to uh, achieving our mission. Yeah. So um, it's not just Google coming to the ecosystem, it's empowering so much more. Yeah, I was thinking about that, uh, I was thinking about Sebastian. I was thinking, okay, now he is working on the schema.org with Yoast, the search engine, and you have decided to address the Google search engine. First, Google, it's clear. And now that Google is coming on the, on the, on the scene, uh, that's, that's give a lot of credibility and uh, that will give you a lot of uh, facilities to integrate with. So that's just amazing. Have you other uh, spicy news for uh, for us that you can unveil? Mm, no, we have we have the Google one, we have the Shopify, we have the uh, no, that's it for now. We have the the countries reaching out. Um, Fantastic. We have the the Dutch publisher with one million timestamps, one of the most credible media outlets in the Netherlands. So uh, yeah, that that's the spicy news for now. Yeah, and I saw that you have also uh, made some uh, time stamping with uh, vintage uh, watches in uh, Amsterdam. That's not uh, a credible one. So yeah, we do that together with the VID uh, 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 people and mm -hmm. they timestamp the certificates offline for the watches and we yeah. make the bridge with online. So they're one of the most credible uh, uh, vintage watches dealers and working with them, it will be the first e-commerce case. And what we will launch with Shopify is the first tooling for e-commerce. Um, mm -hmm. So at the end of this year, uh, we will do more promotion around e-commerce because December is very important. Mm -hmm. Press or Wordproof moving into the e-commerce market, that will be big. And especially in 2021, it has a really high priority focus. What is your thought on, on, on voice? That's just an example uh, that could be other website, it's clear. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I love voice. It's, it's, it's great that there's a new attempt to social media. I love their messaging, social as it should be. And uh, I wrote two articles on voice. Mm -hmm. One was, um, they, they were both about voice mass adoption. That, that exactly. was my topic. Number yeah. one was about uh, how voice could do the search engine optimization uh, things on the platform, working together with the timestamp uh, thing we're developing in schema.org to structure data. And secondly, I wrote about the editor. The uh, editor, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I love voice. There's so much that voice can do better. Uh, that's the two things, uh, the, the editor and the search engine optimization. But what, what both Wordproof and Voice aim to do is making society better. We're society geeks. We're going into the fabric. Hey, how can yeah. we make integrity? Um, how can we do integrity by design instead of hoping that it exists? 
we bring that to content all over the world. They bring it to a new social media, which is a great experiment, voice.com. We have a, a very aligned mission in bringing integrity by design. We're in touch with the Google News Division, and uh, it's it's on all levels. It's such a broad thing, and exactly. uh, what we need to do is making, firstly, making sure that there there's some right way to put stuff into schema. But we will Yoast having published uh, an, a blog article about how schema exactly should work. So that's wow. a. Then we need to have big publishers uh, using that schema stuff. We have the, uh, the biggest Dutch publisher. We will have one of the biggest Dutch media outlets. We have the Vintage Watches case. We have uh, uh, governments all over the world. Uh, all of them starting with timestamps now. And then it's really easy to build a case from social media and big tech uh, because they can say, hey, there are so many articles, millions of articles on the web who have the timestamp uh, timestamps formatted in the schema.org way. So then it's just a matter of the interpretation of that data and for Google that's the easiest because they have the blog post user on the network by then yeah so it's really a, a three-step schema then the adoption uh, and then the search engines could read it so it's okay. it's a chicken egg thing but we break it by doing the schema so, first we do that now uh, but then making the adoption in the coming months we will have millions and millions of timestamps from policy makers from governments from publishers from e-commerce parties for, uh, from all those in tune with each other big players and small players because through timestamping small matters again and then okay. the last step is search engines being able to interpret the data which Google has an advantage there because they have the blog producer in place. Okay, so in the implementation, so you have the timestamping, it's uh, already uh, developed, uh, it is uh, from, uh, running with the WordProof plugin for the EOS mainnet, for Telos, and you will have also integration with Ethereum, uh, and Bitcoin, uh, that's your that's your goal. But today that we speak, the Workproof plugin is running for the EOS mainnet and for Telos, right? That's not changed yet for the moment. Huh? It's like no, this. we we are running tests with Ethereum because you are already uh, running now tests with Ethereum, okay? Yeah. And now about the timestamping, okay? And for the the schema.org, so for the search engine optimization with Google you are still in development on this side you are still in which phase exactly you first are we will have the uh, way we propose how schema should handle this from that moment ah. we will already output what uh, we will already output timestamps which are correctly formatted uh, with that thing uh, so the version will be a bit uh, test drive a version yeah, to, yeah. to, to, to test be, technically yes. it's a pull request for schema but the, the nice thing is you don't have to wait before you can use it. Just use it. And when Google gives value to it, it's backwards compatible. So if I do a timestamp today, it's all right. It already has value. If I do a timestamp yeah, two yeah. months ago, it already has value. That's, that's take back the timestamping that I have made. Okay. Exactly. And the, the, so, yeah. Okay. okay. And, then, and then with Yoast together, they mm. reach 40% of all WordPress site and yeah. WordPress uh, reaches 40% or is used on almost 40% all the websites on the internet. So with them, we really have the power to roll this out really fast. And um, th that's what we will do. So they have a plugin on 11 million websites. They have specific plugins for okay. publishers, for e-commerce. And what we will do is one by one doing integrations with the plugins. We have the WordProof Academy, which are uh, yeah. today five, five yeah. videos, all educating on timestamps for e-commerce, timestamps for publishers, timestamping uh, for search engine optimization, timestamps for copyright. All those videos are available at wordproof.com slash academy. We will use those to educate yeah. the hundreds of thousands of people on the mailing list.
incredible so uh yeah you are in we see that you are, this is your baby uh, it's, <laughs> it's my clear. hobby and my work uh, it's work. your life it's your hobby it's uh, always I like mean, this like that when we have a project uh we are luckily sure. we're with a team of uh, eight of us so yeah, uh, yeah. it's not so just my for hobby. our audience that take now the the train and that see this video it's clear uh, some are already aware they have followed the evolution if you don't have followed the evolution, go back to the August 23rd, you will have a good introduction. And now to break down a little bit, so we have the Waterproof plugin timestamping. Now we will be integrated with the schema.org of um, uh, Yoast, uh, in partnership with Yoast. You will support the Google, uh, you will speak to the Google search engine and uh, in this direction. So from your plugin to the the google and not the the other direction okay so no. that's mean that the plugin yoast that we have today for wordpress that you said it's for a lot of websites in the world wordpress we have a lot of websites uh, and all wordpress developer knows uh, this uh, plugin yoast this plugin yoast is stay like it is uh, it, like it is there is no um, uh, integration with your plugin for proof but the the contrario yes right yeah and it and the okay. Im implementation will be there so it's a yes. uh, thing we're working on because it makes massive sense fantastic so all clear all clear i, I hope it's crystal clear <laughs> okay so uh, we spoke a little bit already about your partnership with yoast uh, the next milestone the next challenges i think we already covered that now in this uh, discussion Um, now, I, we have already touched the last time about Ethereum, the DAP network, mm -hmm. you, you were in contact with, um, with LiquidApp, so you were already in contact one year uh, ago in an everything EOS show, you, you discussed about that. Now, so, when, uh, when you are integrating now the, the, the Ethereum world with your uh, Vortproof plugin, uh, the people who use Ethereum use it because they don't want to use Bitcoin or they don't want to use EOS. Uh -huh. okay. so, so we don't need inter-blockchain communication, but EOS has a great, amazing permission uh, system, the advanced permission system. So what yeah. happens, we, we launched the WordProof plugin last year in June with the ability to timestamp, but you always need an anchor or scatter a way to timestamp uh, from your wallet. But what we saw is for a journalist, often that's too hard to do. They don't know how to do that. Yeah, and yeah, uh, so what we needed was WordProof timestamping on their behalf without having control over their account. That's possible with the advanced permission system in EOSIO. Yeah. Yeah. On Ethereum, yeah. there's nothing like that. EOS is unique, truly unique in that uh, reset. So okay, so you, what, you, you will not have interblock IBC. Uh, we don't from the it. EOS mainnet uh, with WordProof with Ethereum. That's not in for, the plan for the yeah, moment. It is the in the plan, but it's not needed uh, yeah, now. Voilà. Yeah. Because for, uh, we have uh, several phases in the WordProof project. Right now, it's about timestamping information. Secondly, yeah. you can connect an identity to your uh, blockchain address. But what will happen after is that we work with NFTs, non-fungible tokens for your content. So you get one NFT kind of content certificate, which yeah. you can transfer from person to person. And from that moment, it makes sense to have the inter-blockchain communication because exactly. you want to have the NFT from the EOS network to the Ethereum network and by then maybe even the Bitcoin network. And you want to have a free flow of NFTs from multiple yeah. chains. So yeah. right now it's not necessary, but yeah. in the near future- really You are in the, the big picture, but it is not your prior priority for the moment yet. Yeah. Not for the coming three months. Three um, months, yeah. For, exactly. for now it's not necessary to connect them, but of course we're totally on top of the NFT game because NFTs for content, respecting the multiple authors, respecting the multiple revisions of content, it's truly the future. And especially with search engines, you can, one big problem in search engines is um, that you uh, can't, if, if two people use the same content, 
who was first and who's allowed to do it. So you can do exactly. licensing exactly. From, for content in your NFT. And secondly, for multi for multi timestamp, multi signature, what happens is in an organization you have workflows in content. So, for example, the CEO she writes an article, then the communication department says, "Hey, check." Then the legal department says, "Hey, check." So you can make content an extension of governance in an organization through NFTs for content. So that's another thing we work on. Fantastic, because. Last time we don't touch about the NFTs, but since uh, August 23rd, we see a, a growing uh, wax atomic herb. Now we have uh, the atomic herb on EOS mainnet coming. I, I will also touch that with Mblue. Uh, Mblue Crypto uh, is also one of my guests in this amazing, uh, Swiss amazing, workshop. Yeah. I mean, amazing guy. The important thing is we as Wordproof do not choice. We need to fix the internet and we the only way to do that is to be uh, available to all blockchains that get it, that do it right. So uh, with EOS and EOS IO, because of the short block times, the cheap transactions, the uh, it's fast, 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 but that's the short block times, uh, but also the advanced permission system, it's yeah, totally we, a home. So it, EOS, EOS IO is and will be the default because that, Truly oh. makes a lot of sense, but it's uh, for we will we need to support Bitcoin. We need to support the Ethereum to make sure that all the communities and all the people who want uh, to find sample networks like that are included in the Workproof user group as well. Yeah, and for all the integrators that are uh, hearing this show now, uh, all the startups that want to integrate with other uh, blockchain ecosystem or let's say other blockchains. Uh, from the EOS ecosystem, you are welcome. Enter in the EOS ecosystem. Once again, we are not uh, maximalist on EOS. Uh, now, for the people that uh, coming now in this video, they will maybe think we are now maximalist on the EOS. No, it's not the case. We want that it is the perfect way to collaborate. There is no competition, only communication, collaboration. Yeah, happy. To be back in uh, in the start of next year or something, maybe with together together with Chris. Let's see. Uh, I'd be happy to uh, do an update uh, in the start of the next year. Oh, that would be nice to to have you, uh, Chris, and you together on a next workshop that we can discuss the synergy that you have together. And for the audience, you will think all the link into the description about article from um, uh, from Sebastian. Uh, about the the voice, he has written a nice article on the editor on the um, search engine optimization, and not only that, also the uh, Boardproof Academy. Since the last time we can register there, uh, you have nice video as All already, free. yeah, on the timestamping, on the database uh, differences, uh, education once again. So you do a big work on the education, and not only that, you have your company. Uh, so yeah, so I thank you very much to, to have accepted once again to come in the EOSIO Swiss workshop number four. So thank you very much, and Thanks. see you and soon. See you soon. Let's build the trusted web together, and uh, good luck all. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Exactly. Build the trusted web. Thank you. Yay. Bye.